Hi, this is John Huddleston, board certified master arborist and registered consulting arborist with Precision Tree Experts. Today we're talking about Ips beetles moving through pine trees, the damage that they do and how you can prevent them. So Ips beetles is, is one of four different types of pine bark beetle that we have up here. And they're the ones that like to hit the tops and the small branches of trees. Here you can see where they destroyed this entire top of this tree here. And on the tree in the distance behind me there, it's only taking out the top of the branches. The rest of the branches on the left hand side and the lower part of the tree are still healthy because the beetles haven't spread to those branches yet. If we come out here, we can take a look at the, uh, the other trees around it and we can see that the beetles are starting to move across the canopies of the other trees one branch at a time. This is the beginning of an infestation. There's another branch that's showing flagging symptoms up there. And as we walk across from one property to the next, we can see them moving from this tree to this tree to that tree and so on and so on and so on. So these trees here, where you can also see the, the flagging branches up in the canopy, they've just started here. We've installed these pulley systems in. So that we can deliver this material, which is a completely organic, all natural beetle repellent to the top of the tree where the beetles are. And this way in three months when the repellent wears off, we can come and we can easily install it back again. These are the little bags that are full of the repellent called verbenon. Verbenon was discovered to be a compound that the beetles create themselves when a tree is so full of beetles that it can't support any more life. So this, this chemical here, this compound more appropriately, is, uh, is a, a big no vacancy sign in beetle language. So since these beetles hit the top of the tree, we're gonna put the no vacancy sign at the top of the tree. Now in taller trees, we have these installed every 40 feet because the uh, pheromone itself has a 20 foot radius of effect. So we have it installed at the top of the tree there and then at the bottom of the tree, we've just applied it directly to the bark. We've done that to eight trees on this property and uh, if all goes according to plan, we will have stopped this uh, infestation right in its tracks. If you have any questions about bark beetles or, uh, or anything else in the, in the forest here, any other type of tree pests, feel free to email us at idlewildtreedoctor at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in.